All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Free Kill Show. We are going to go ahead and dive into some tibia today. Normally, I do League of Legends on a Monday, but uh, I'm not going to be diving into League today because I don't have a boost on experience, and grinding experience without a boost is a giant pain. But tibia is a lot of fun. For those of you who have joined my tibia streams before, uh, welcome back to the show. For those of you who are new, welcome to FreeKills.com, checking out the show. So we are going to dive right in here as soon as my client boots up. Should be seeing that screen momentarily over here. Why are you not showing up, screen? Fine, be a giant pain. We'll go ahead and go onto this screen. Should be showing up as well over here. Hey, there we go. We have our tibia screen up. We're going to be joined by Void Vox. He is our redhead stepchild. And uh, we're going to be climbing through tibia. Those of you who don't know what tibia is, is an old school MMO. Uh, those of you who joined me from last week, uh, I am currently level 23 on the game that has no level cap. Uh, and ridiculous levels. We are going to actually be hitting up the tar pits today, uh, doing some power leveling and uh, beating down on some things. So check out this game. It's a lot of fun. If you're new to it, uh, it's crazy. It is 8-bit graphics. It's old school. It's been around for about 20 years and uh, counting. So it's pretty insane. Voidvox is Void Odyssey from my league streams. So he's back there behind me as per usual. He's going to be joining us. And you can see his name up here, Voidvox. And that is not uh, him, but someone's saying hi. Yo. Uh Blue Genie. Uh you're English. Yes, uh I am. Uh you know where DG is. The blue gin, I think, is what he's looking for. I have no idea. Uh, no earthly concept whatsoever. Um do you know where that is, Void? Try to be nice, this guy. Uh, I'm token for the blue gin Dingy. 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 Uh, one sec. Uh, not close to the dir north, close to the Dershia. There you go. All right, Void giving out some advice because advice is important. So if you're following the stream, we are going to be doing some crazy new stuff coming up in the future. Definitely check us out, freekills.com, which you can see over here on the side, all of our contact information. Uh, register for the website. We're going to actually start be doing giveaways in our streams and things like that. So hopefully we'll uh, start seeing some uh, some hits on that soon. Alright. So. Okay. Apparently Voidbox is going to show the guy where uh, to go... Uh, get the blue genie that he's looking for. Void is a very nice guy sometimes. Only going to take a couple minutes, he says. So, I usually play music while I'm playing Tibia, but I do want to be able to put these up on YouTube and actually set them for monetization. So, if I play background music, it will allow me not to do that. So, I'm going to try to talk to you guys about the game as much as possible. Uh, give you guys some insights and things that are going on with this here old school game. It is a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm climbing on pyramids now in the Pyramid City. Kind of a cool little unique feature. You can climb up the side of them. Sort of fun. Alright. So this is a mail room. You see all the parcels thrown on the ground. Uh, it's the thing with old, old school 8-bit games, man. You get this crazy stuff going on. Crazy, crazy. Alright. So chat kind of quiet right now. If you guys want to chime in, feel free to do so. I will answer questions as I can. I do have dual monitor set up so I can read what you guys are saying as well as uh, play. I can talk and chew bubblegum as well. So, I am a multi-talented monster. Alright, we're going to sit on the landing. So, wait for a void to get back from showing hair dude where the monster is. So, uh, we'll take you on a quick travel th tour through Tibia. So, Tibia is a game where um, it doesn't have the luxuries of modern MMOs, which is r both kind of odd, yet really cool at the same time. Like, you don't get to, you know, inspect a monster and say, oh, what level is this thing? Can it kill me? You just have to kind of go over and try it, and if it pummels you mercilessly, then you know you're not supposed to fight it. And death in this game has a severe penalty and a severe cost. You lose experience, you lose skill training, and you will often drop gear and have to try to get back to your body before you can pick it up. Now, see, these are crazy chambers with all this stuff that you can't get to or steal would be pretty cool. Like, I want these cool golden boots. They seem pretty sweet. But, uh, there's no way I can pick them up for these huge piles of stuff just crammed in a room. 
that looks all cool. Uh, the other fun thing about Tibia is the backpack within a backpack system. So if you look over here on my left hand screen, this is my backpack. And I've got a backpack within a backpack that's full of miscellaneous monster parts. Then another backpack within a backpack that's got money in it. And uh, it helps keep your weight down for when you're looting and farming. Uh, so once Void gets back, we can go ahead and hire pits. Looks like someone else joined us on chat. Welcome to the show. Uh, we're doing some tibia today. If you don't know what tibia it is, I'm assuming you know what tibia is because you clicked into the channel, but if you don't know what tibia it is, it's a very old school MMO that's quite difficult and challenging and a lot of fun. So welcome to the show. Uh, if you have questions, I can see the chat at all times. Feel free to ask away. I do like answering questions. If you're not signed up for Twitch, you can't click... You cannot participate in chat, so definitely sign up to Twitch so you guys can ask me questions. Um, I don't care if they're game related or otherwise. You can throw whatever you want at me. I am an open book and I like talking to my audience while I play. Makes my life a lot more fun and uh, makes the stream more enjoyable and interactive for you. So, feel free. Room full of goodies. God. See, how unfair is it that I can't loot all of this? Like, look at that. That is a room full of amazing stuff. I'm guessing some really awesome items there. Considering they're glowing and shiny and sparkly. But no, this game has a lot of weird little rooms that have stuff you can't loot. Like this little weird room with full of stuff I can't loot. I can click on it and see what it is. You see a death strike. That just seems awesome. Like, I don't know what a death strike does, but I see a red pillow. I see a wand of inferno. Black Pack, Volume 20, Blue. Pretty cool. So, anyway, as I was saying about the backpack within a backpack system, uh, this allows you to seriously... Like, you basically have infinite bag space, because you can even do one of these numbers. Like, watch, boom. Total backpack exception. I just put a backpack within a backpack within a backpack. Now, moving this out of this is going to be very difficult. I should have thought of that. Nah, okay. So, in order to unbackpack exception your bags... You generally have to do some tricks at the depot. So the depot is where you go to get mail and things like that, and um, you have a, uh, it's basically your bank uh, without being your mo money bank. Your money bank is actually handled by another NPC. Uh, let's see, am I too far north? I think I'm too far north. Yeah, I gotta go south. So the other thing, this game is super complex. Tons of stuff going on. Uh, monsters are a giant pain, but farming is a big deal, and it's a lot of fun actually. Uh, I blame Void for getting me into it. It's his fault. So y'all can blame him for having to watch it. Uh, but, uh, like I said, for joining the stream, just need to check out freekills.com. Register as a member on there. It's free to you. And we will be doing all kinds of fun giveaways and stuff in the future. Hold on, i got to unbackpack exception myself. So to unbackpack exception, I'm going to do a little trick. I'm going to drop my backpack here. I'm going to go up a stage. And I'm going to pick my backpack back up. The reason you do this... Uh, in this particular area, is you don't want uh, some person grabbing your bag. It's not a good day when someone grabs your bag. Okay, that's my money bag, so I need to swap bag positions once. And then let's see, go like that, go like that, and that should be now my, yep, okay. Bags are fixed. So now that I'm done showing you backpackception, we can, uh, hello Snapfast, how are you doing sir? Welcome to the stream. Where am I meeting you, Void? North? Okay. North of the town. So we're going to go check out the tar pits. We're going to go kick some kick some butt. Uh, and we'll show you one of the fun spawns. I'm going to want to bring food. Okay. He t now he tells me. So we're going to go ahead and hit the market real fast. Buy some food. I should probably top off on pots too. Um, so the cool thing about... Well, I hate it and like it at the same time. Uh, is you actually have to talk to NPCs in this game. So I'm going to type hi. Hello. NPC is going to say, yo, what's up? I'm going to say trade. Because I want to buy stuff from him. That's the pop of this buying window. And what is the best thing to buy weight wise? Dragon hams? They s 30 ounces? Why don't just buy a bunch of fish? I mean, it's way cheaper that way. I mean, I guess, I mean, there's dragon hams the better idea. I don't have a lot of carrying space. I'm going to want to loot. I'm going to buy a ton of fish. Just a crap ton of fish. Uh. 50 fish will max out my carrying capacity, it looks like. Yeah. So, maybe I should carry half that? 25? 30? 30 fish? 30 fish seems good. 
Thirty fish seems good. Okay. I'm gonna go sell these vials from my potions. Go buy some pots. Pots are good. So we're gonna say hi to this dude. Yo, what's up? And we're gonna hit trade. Yeah, we wanna trade with you, fool. I'm gonna say sell. I'm gonna get rid of these flasks. Got twelve of them. Boom. Sixty G's. Well, sixty gold pieces. Be great if it was sixty G's, I'd just be like, Woo! Flasks are worth selling over and we'll go up to we'll buy twelve. So we have a nice even thirty uh pots. Alright, thoughts. Thirty pots, thirty fish. You're gonna carry you're carrying meat for both of us too. Sweet. Alright. So we had a fourth viewer join and then he walked away, so I guess he didn't like what he saw, so fine. That's okay. You don't have to stay. I will do this regardless. All right, so we're rocking out some TV. We're going to go do some fun farming now. You guys can quit watching me walk around town. Uh, Nikon001 in the channel. Hi, welcome to the show. Feel free to type, chat, whatever. I do enjoy talking to my viewers, so feel free to ask away. Snapfast back in the channel. Welcome to the show. Honor Guards, we're going to ignore those because we're way past level for those. Uh, control click and follow. Alright, we're following Voidvox. We're going to go out to the tar pits and do some hunting. So this game is fun. Where are you going? To the tar pits. That's where we're going. We're going to go kill some stuff. Tar pit tombs north, northeast of Ankrum is where we are going to go. And we are going to put the beats down on some stuff. Voidvox is level 118 now. Do you speak Spanish? Unfortunately, no. I live in Arizona, so I speak some Spanglish. <laughs> which is horrible. Um, but no, I do not speak Spanish. Um, I can order off a menu. That's about as far as it goes. I can ask for the bathroom. I got that down. Uh, I can use pretty much every Spanish curse word known to man, because I've been called them. Uh, so, you know, I know those. I'm standing here? Why am I standing here? Don't stand here? Why am I not? Alright, why am I not standing here? Alright, well, fine. Honor guards die easily. <laughs> he dropped nothing! Alright, he's dying. Oh, that's why I don't stand there. You were going to drop a hole in the ground. Money in the bag. Ah! Whoa! We just found a hole. Alright. Down to the tombs we go. Okay. Just this top area? Ghouls! Yeah, I like ghouls. Dude, I kill everything in here, like, super fast. Oh, you're throwing down D-hams? Those won't decompose, will they? No. Sweet. So I'm gonna go down and hunt some of the other you're going to hunt deeper? Okay, cool. Sounds good. So, Void's going to go ahead and go down deeper. I'm not safe enough to go down further into this tomb, so I'm going to farm this top level. I uh, hate the tombs anyways. PK's around. Um, I am on a server that uh, isn't, open P uh, isn't open PvP, so you have to be flagged for it for people to uh, jack you. So, um, we, uh, we're on Fed Federa? Federa is the server we're on, yes. Federa, loot my monies. Come on, loot the monies. Cave rats, oh no! Drop my monies, fool. Two coins, yeah. Less than broke. Kill that skeleton. Go hams. Man, I'm one-shotting everything in this tomb. And getting noticeable experience... Bo boost, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I am playing on a premium account. There are some nice bonuses to that. For those of you who have not played on a premium account, I definitely recommend giving, getting one. Uh, here in the near future, we will be doing giveaways for premium scrolls uh, here at freekills.com to registered members of the website and followers of the Twitch. So uh, make sure you follow. Uh, to follow up with us when we do Tibia or other games. Uh, I'm going to be doing putting an entire giveaway section up on freekills.com uh, that you can check out and see how giveaways will work. And uh, ideally, once I get some more bankroll and some things going, I'll be give it doing giveaways every single stream. 
So, definitely follow and check us out. Otherwise, you won't be able to get goodies. Membership has its benefits, as the old saying goes. Alright, Poison Spider, it's gonna die. Plap. Dead Speed Ray. Ghoul. Totally dead. I remember when those things used to take a lot of hits for me to kill, and now I'm just like, thwap. Uh, offline training is another major perk to a premium account. Uh, it allows you to train your skills, so I'm going to go ahead and pop up my character profile so you guys can check it out. So at level 23, I have a sword fighting of 63, and I have a shielding of 56. Most of that was grinded not even being online. So that is a major, major perk to the um, premium account system. Allows you to get way higher in your stats than you should be, which allows you to go ham on things like skeletons. See? Like that. Total ham. Alright, go ham on that skeleton. We're gonna go ham on this ghoul. Man, that ghoul's being resilient. He's not t he's taking a little longer than my usual to kill. Oh, I should have ate one of those dragon hams real quick. I'm gonna go run back and eat a dragon ham. Speaking of hams. Because I'm not full at all, so I have like no regen going right now. I mean these things aren't even hurting me, so I don't really need it. But it's good to have regen. I mean just in case I get something weird. Where'd he drop my hams? He dropped them up here, didn't he? Whoa, where'd my hams go? They're north. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not far enough north. I lost my hams. Looks like we got a couple more viewers on the stream. Welcome, guys. Please feel free to chime in on stream. I am watching chat as I play. So if you are, if you wish to discuss, etc., feel free to do so. I'm going to pick up my hams just to be safe. I got room for them. Go hams. All right, I still got 91 capacity, and I'm mostly picking up parts and money. Um, so you have to be a registered Twitch me member to speak on chat, so if you're not, definitely let join Twitch. It's a very good situation, and it does help out guys like me who try to stream and make things entertainment for guys like you guys. So we're just trying to make it fun. Voidvox is down hunting a couple areas lower while I grind some experience up here. A ghoul! So uh, this is how old school this game is. Not even attack animations, just little puffs of dust when you hit. Like, Mixer Ico, fill up my health a little more. Alright, ghouls! Alright, so, the one trick you want to be careful of is even with awesome shielding, you don't want to get too many things on you at once, because if you get three things beating on you or more, you will get defense broke, and then you're going to... your shielding will not work. You will still get beat on regardless of how high your shielding is. Tibia, it's the best game. It is fantastic, um, I have to say. For a game that's as old school as it is, it is a ton of fun. Uh, way more than I ever expected it to be, um, especially because most people look at it and go, ah, it looks cheesy because it's 8-bit and it's old, and they don't actually give it an honest try. But when you sit down and actually play this game, all of a sudden you're addicted, and then you're just playing Tibia for hours on end. And... Uh, then all of a sudden it's 3 in the morning, and you're like, holy crap, what happened to my day? So, if you are new to Tibia and joined Federa, let me know, and there may be some perks in it for you. Send me a message through Twitch as a private message saying, hey, I joined the server, and this is my character name, and there may be some goodies in it for you. Just letting you know. So if you're new to the game or haven't gotten into the game yet, or even transfer to my server, there may be something in it for you. So... I like playing with audience members, so if I do get people on this server and playing with us, we will gladly uh, go do bigger content once we get leveled up. I'm trying to power level as fast as I can so I can start doing the big time stuff with uh, Void so we can start doing triple digit mobs and fighting things that are ugly and hideous and mean and absolutely wonderful to beat on. So that's what we're looking forward to getting to once the getting gets good kill that. Oh, I hate when they do that. So, sometimes uh, your kills can stack up on the same square, and you can still loot everything. It's just a little more difficult, so I'm actually going to um, show you guys how it works. Do we like to PK? Uh, we will if there is a reason to. Um, sometimes people try to PK low levels, and uh, we'll basically be server guards at and uh, go beat up the guys that are uh, that are dousing the low-level characters, because that's not cool. That doesn't build a good community. And so basically we go punish the wicked 
I guess would be the best way to say what Void and I like to do. Um, so, we're going to eat this cheese. We're going to bag this money. It's fun to PK bots, tons of gold. Yeah, or botters. If we see a bot that's absolutely, you know, very much being a giant pain and hindrance to people farming or whatever, just go, you know, wreck them. Uh, gold is generally not an issue. We have uh, we have some farm locations that we enjoy and love, and uh, we end up getting quite a significant uh, amount of gold uh, in from those uh, from those spawns. So uh, gold is generally not an issue we have too much of. But we are advocates of positive uh, community act being positive community activists activists and treating the community with respect and treating other players with respect. And uh, I, I have this general philosophy with every single game I play, and it uh, doesn't matter what you think of the person on the other end of the screen, there's still a person there. And uh, if you uh, wouldn't say it to their face or wouldn't do it to them in real life, why are you being a jerk online? That's my general philosophy. That goes for League of Legends or Borderlands 2 or any other game I may be playing. Can you tell me the name of that city? I can't remember. What's the name of the city we were at? Ancrum. This is the name of the city. Skeleton dies. Yeah, this one's kind of nice because I don't have to deal with scarabs. <laughs> While scarabs don't hurt me, they die really slow. <laughs> they have very good armor, I guess. I don't know. They just are quite tanky. Little jack faces. So, horde of rats! Rats, rats make me crazy. Crazy, I was crazy once. They locked me in a giant room full of rats. Rats, rats make me crazy. I want to drop cheese. I'm going to eat that cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, rat cheese. <laughs> so tasty. You got a date on Thursday. You guys heard it here first. Voidvox has a date on Thursday. This just in on freekills.com news. Voidvox got a date. We're going to file that under awesome. Alright, we're going to check the rest of this location, because that one dropped some cheese and some monies. Alright, so I loot all my monies. Monies is good. Skeleton! Dead skeleton. So can I go up a floor? Oh, well, there's nothing up there? Oh, yeah, we came down. Duh. Hadurp. I'm retarded sometimes. Quiet, you. Quit making sense. Behemoths. I want to fight behemoths. I'm not here freaking fighting dorky skeletons, and you're getting to kill cool crap. I know I'm going to die if I fight a behemoth, but I still want to. Go, go to kill scarabs. Scarabs are easy, but they're annoying. Like, because they run away... And I'd have to go to the spawn in Ancrum, which we just left. And this spawn's a little faster and just as good for experience. Holy cow, this is quite the hallway. I'm going to back this down so I don't get surrounded. Because guys in this hallway, guys in hallways tend to be dumb. And they tend not to, like, move around you. They just tend to duel up like this. And you can keep yourself from getting jumped by three things at once. See? Just boop. And we just move up one. And we'll bap this skeleton down. Bap. And we're going to bap the school. Bap. Move up. I move up because I don't like piling up my loots. It makes it faster for me to loot. Um, oh, I'm going to get three surrounded. Nope, no I'm not because they all die. <laughs> come on, spider, come up here. I don't want to stack you on a corpse. All right, cool. See, I don't like loots that are corpse stacking because it makes it easier for me to loot. I can just go to each one rather than having to go through the process of clicking the different tabs and be like, what else is in this square? That's one thing I wish they would do. Uh, maybe a, like another like a modern convenience for MMOs is if they would make it to where when you loot a square, it just shows you all the loot in that square rather than having to ki click each individual corpse by using the up arrow and then saying what's on this corpse, what's on that corpse. Uh, it'd be much easier. So I'm carrying a bunch of food and potions that I don't need for this spawn. Um, so kind of funny, but it's good to have them just in case. Um, so we're moving on. Hey, a scarab! 
There you go. See, look. Ask and ye shall receive. Stream ask for a scarab. Bam. Scarab. <laughs> the streamers get what they want. This is a huge spawn. Holy crap. So, we're going to beat on this scarab. Now, see, a scarab can't hurt me, but they just don't die. Like, the only thing I, the only time I lose health to scarabs is walking over the poison clouds. And it really doesn't hurt that bad. Like, I don't care. But it's just annoying. See, like, this thing's going to take forever. I'm one shot and everything else in this spawn. And then what happens is it's going to get low on health, and then it's going to run away, and then I'm going to have to chase it, and then I hate my life. See, look, it's, it's red, so now it's going to run. And I'm going to chase it for, like, 8 million years. Because they just don't die. Oh, and it spawned a scorpion when it died. I love when it does that. It gives me extra experience and kill. Yay. 45 coins from that scarab, though. A lot of money. If they drop scarab coins, loot the crap out of those. Those things are worth 100 gold a pop. Makes your uh, investment in food and potions totally worth it. Uh, there are... Ri What's the reason to loot? Ah, gotcha. Apparently you can use them to get into deeper levels of the tomb, too. Um, so that's good to know. So apparently I'm wrong. That's not the only reason you loot them. I sell them for money. I already did. I shouldn't have, maybe. Oops. Yeah, I'll hold on to the rest of them now that I know they actually do something. See, so now that stupid little jerk's gonna run. I'm gonna step onto a... Wow, that one did 22 when I stepped on it? Like, holy crap, that was loud! No, it did five. It just popped up with a different thing. Hey, meat. Thanks, Scarab. Neat. I got meat. And now I'm poisoned, but I don't care. I could cleanse it off, but it doesn't hit me hard enough to really... Ma five poison a tick. Wow, this is a stronger poison than the previous scarabs I fought. I might actually want to cleanse this poison. S seemingly obnoxious. Uh, if I can get a ring of life off a ghoul, I'll be freaking super happy. Ooh, mummy. These things also don't die quickly, but they don't hurt me. Cool thing you can loot while you're be while you're beating face. Uh, I missed to be an ancient scarab deep in the caves. So good, yeah. If that's so good was in reference to Ring of Life, yeah, so good. All right, we're gonna actually pop a pot. Boink. Ah. Ooh, I found a wand. I'll sell that to somebody. I'm sure, that's worth some money. Kidoki. Got poison again. I don't know by I guess by a mummy. Man, mummy poison kinda sucks. It's ticking me for a whopping two. Yeah, cool. What's up, fool? You wanna go? And uh, I'm gonna kill this spider real quick. Blap. Alright. Monis. Make sure I got my bag, my bag exception correct here. Okay, don't have random stuff that I don't need. He dropped worms. I don't need worms. Uh, wand for the house. Decorate. <laughs> yeah, I can decorate my house with a wand. Sure. Could totally do that. Uh, but oh, he dropped money. Even though it's one coin, I will take my one coin for my troubles. I did have a fire sword, but that crap wears off way too quick. It's like one hunt and your fire sword is gone. And you're like, damn it. It's like charges just take forever in this game. They just go away way too quick. Okay, so I should be able to, as long as I stay full, I'll be able to exert Ico through, all, uh, through any poison that I have. Whoa, a crypt shambler. I don't know how rough that is. It's the first time I've run into one of these. We'll see if it's a problem or not. Nope, doesn't, doesn't seem to be a problem. He's hitting me, kind of. Yeah, no, it. It's just going to take forever to kill. Yeah, he's not hitting me hard. I'm definitely hitting him hard. Oh, he hit me for 30. Okay. <laughs> I take that back. He can occasionally hit me hard. I have potions, though. If he gets me anywhere near the danger zone, we're just going to be like, Nope, you're going to die. Alright, Crypt Chambler. Kind of cool. 14 coins. All that work for 14 coins. Yeah. They drop a mount. Cool. That's good to know. Apparently, Crypt Chamblers can drop them out. Am I hungry? Yep, apparently I was hungry. I ate some... F I ate some ham! Yeah, that is good to know. So, I will farm the crap out of Crypt Chamblers. Anytime they show up. 
death to Crypt Shamblers. They can drop them out. Bam! Dead rat. Another dead rat. Alright, let's go north. Oh, he dropped cheese. I'm gonna eat that. Get back here. Yes, I just ran back for cheese. I wanna hear it. And I'm full! Son of a... Should've known that. I just ate a ham. I just ate a D-ham. I should've known I was full. Bam! Five gold of pelvic bone, or some bone and some crap. <laughs> some junk and money. Bam! Go ham. Do, 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 do. Did I not even go this way yet? Whew. This spawn is ginormous. You weren't kidding. Get in the hallway here. Uh-oh, we're gonna get three on us. Alright, well, no, we're not. You see an ice rapier. Yeah, that's cool. It's a one-hit weapon? What do you mean? It breaks? That's crappy. So that's just, I, I understand they're like trying to capture the flavor of a weapon made of ice, but Jesus Christ, really? <laughs> That just seems uncalled for. <laughs> Ice rapier, cool. To decorate. Yeah. I would say I agree, because I'm not going to use a weapon that breaks after a Like, you'd have to carry a stack of them. Just be like, you're dead! Ice rapier for the win! <laughs> I ice rape you! I ice rape you again! Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. I get the idea of using an ice rapier to uh, get yourself a quick advantage on the opponent, but I don't know. I don't know if I can go ham that way. I think it'd be better just to have a weapon rather than, like, a billion ice rapiers. It does seem that, like, was it attack set? Like, 42? <laughs> yeah, that's absurd. Considering, like, my current sword is a uh, 24, so it's li literally the transverse stats of my blade. Just like, swap them around! Alright, checked up there. Go ham. Alright. Alright, we're going ham on this place. This is fun. Uh, oh, dude, I hit 24. Sweet, didn't even realize. Leveled. Woot. Alright, alright, alright. Getting some adventure on. Whoa, 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 Bone Lord. I don't think I can take that yet. Yeah. Uh, dude, it just papped me once and took a huge chunk of my health. I mean, I could try it. I can always run if it gets too broham on me. Uh. Oh, nope, nope. Bone Lord and a skeleton. Oh, he summons skeletons, doesn't he? Yeah, that's not cool. Bam, got a skeleton. Okay, let's try it. If I get too, if he gets too crazy, I will run the f away. Oh, he turned around. He's running from me. Oh, he's still hitting me, but that's okay. We'll hit Ico now. I've got a second use of it. Oh yeah, I'm totally gonna burrow ham this dude. They're getting hammed. Oh yeah, that felt good. That felt like awesome. I just bro ham that dude. Beholder, yeah, they were called beholders. Uh, Wizards of the Coast threatened to sue them. Because uh, Wizards of the Coast owns the right to the Beholder name. Because it was originally developed by TSR when they owned D&D. &D, and it was a copywritten property. So they had to change it to Bone Lord. That's why. But we all know it is actually a Beholder. And I just bro-hammed it. So. I, am, I remember running from those a while ago. And being like, that'll kill me! And now I'm like, yeah, I can go ham on that. I like it. Ghouls and skeletons. This tomb's awesome, dude. It's huge. It's a giant spawn. I like it because I don't have to really worry about wandering. I can just be like, yeah, this spawn is awesome. I don't got to worry about going elsewhere. I can just ham it up. And nothing here really hurts me. And the Bone Lord dealt me some damage, but 
like the crypt gas or crypt stalker was worse. All this cool pots. Why can't I loot this stuff, man? They need to take a page from Legend of Zelda. I should be able to break those. I think Legend of Zelda came out before this. By a long shot. I'm writing somebody. Alright, stream. That's your that's your homework this week. Letter of complaint to Tibia developers because I can't smash pots. Ardios Fidus. Oh, some dude whispered me about money. <laughs> I tell you stuff. Hey, gold farmer. Yo, I not buy gold now. Ooh, six gold coins. Yay. So we're going to do some farming. Ghouls. Ghouls are fun. I like ghouls. Such little experience. Do you have add-ons? No, I do not have add-ons. Oh, well, that's cool. I should go check my stuff. Uh, if I answer questions um, or make comments that you guys don't quite understand, it's usually because Void, who's sitting behind me, is asking me something and you guys can't hear him. I don't have him on Skype or anything. We should actually get him on Skype for these sessions. Be more fun. Would be more fun. We gotta get you on Skype, fool. The audience needs to know who you are. Hey, don't argue. It's my show. It's okay. I don't know, didn't know this game had add-ons, nor did I know that you can use them. I know it's got bots, because I've seen botters, but which are very obvious because they walk around and spawn all day long in the exact same pattern, and you talk to them and they ignore you. You're like, I like using botters, because I let them go bo I let them go body block mobs for me, and then I just go kill them. It's fun. Okay, you go tank all of that. I'm just going to stand here. I'll go full attack while you body block everything for me. Awesome. That's the one reason I went night, is that way when I get high level, Void and I should be able to take out some pretty ridiculous stuff because I'll be able to body block for him and he'll be able to uh, just bro ham out as a sorcerer. So. So. Still got a couple guys in stream. Hi guys, welcome to the show. Five viewers right now currently. I like it. Better than zero. Not talking to myself, that's always the worst. Only one is being really chatty, but that's okay. I will take it. One is better than zero. Because at least when one person's talking back, I'm really not talking to myself. Because that's like the worst feeling ever. Okay, I'm full again. Uh, I'm going to Ico it up. Uh, using your Xura Ico is a good idea, or any of your spells when you're a low light, a low type caster like a knight. Uh, when you have the mana for it, and you're regening because of health, um, just because it levels your magic skill. Um, and that's one skill you're going to be desperately low on for a very long time. And some of your spells are actually pretty good. Um, so getting that leveled up is not a bad idea. And you're not going to like waste time on the offline leveler uh, for magic. Because your offline leveling will be spent uh, getting sword and shield up. That way you're able to take on bigger and more dastardly mobs. Alright. Exploring the crypts. Tarpit tombs. Alright, we're about a third of the way to 25. Uh, this game is very grindy. Um, so if you don't enjoy grindy games, you probably won't like this one too much. Oh, I gotta go up and over. That's where I'm going. But it is a lot of fun. Again, again, surprisingly addictive for those of you who just joined the show. Uh, it's one of those games that you start playing it, and man, all of a sudden, you're just addicted, and you find yourself just like, I'm bored, I'm going to boot up Tibia and play from work, because it works on a Flash, uh, there's a Flash-based, uh, <laughs> there's, there's a Flash client, so I'm just going to play here at work, and my boss won't yell at me. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, but not everyone owns their own store. 
I'm my own boss, sure. Not everyone's their own boss, though. And this is a game that you can, like, totally not get bitched at by your boss. Alright, Crypt Chambler being a little bit of a pain, but that's okay. I got Ixera Ico, and I got potions. So there's no way he is killing me. Not gonna happen. Crypt Chambler, up to six viewers in the stream. Welcome, stream, welcome. Those of you who just joined the stream, missed out on the announcements, definitely check us out at freekills.com and become a registered viewer. Follow us on the channel, and we will be starting very soon giveaways and fun stuff like that just for watching, regardless of what game I do. What is this? This is a half-digested piece of meat. Yum. That sounds tasty. I want half-digested meat. Mmm. Fantastic. All right, down we go. I'm gonna go spawn it up. All right, I think we're gonna have a goal of. I think we should should probably let's see. It's midnight. Probably up till three or so. Probably shoot for thirty. Thirty seems good. It's a good stretch goal. Gives us a focus. Oh, skeleton. Hi, dude. You're gonna die. Yep, told you. All right, probably won't get thirty in this tomb. I don't know. Depends on how. Things start to slow down, level-wise. Uh, the spawn is good, though, because it's huge, so the respawn times... Uh, you're not hurt by respawn times in a big spawn like this. Little spawns that like give you really good experience often are a giant pain, because you'll you'll fight there. What's your level? Uh, I am uh, level 24, Mr. Nick Miller 2. Thank you for joining the show. Boom. Loot my stuffs. Beat this skeleton down. Ooh, nothing to loot off that guy. Boop-a-doop-a-doo. Pick that thing up already. I hate when it lags. Uh, what world? I am on Federa. It's actually on your screen in the bottom left-hand corner. Might be bottom right. I'm not exactly sure what the view looks like from your guys' perspective. From mine facing it, it's bottom right. But it could be bottom left, depending on how you're looking at it. But it says right there on the screen, we are in Federa. Yeah, I put it on there on purpose. <laughs> I'm glad you see it. Now, it's, it's cool. I don't mind that you ask. But I also have it on there spelled out for you guys. Because I figured people would ask. So it was kind of like, um, jump ahead. Well, snap fast if you... Jump in on Federa. If anyone messages me that you've started a character on Federa, private message me through uh, through Twitch. So become a follower and private message me, and there could be some goodies in it for you. Could very well happen. Why use the Flash and server? Um, I like the Flash because I like the interface a little bit better than the Classic. Um, it is a little more enjoyable in my perspective, and I think that's probably because I'm a little biased. I wasn't, I didn't start playing on the original, um, the original client, and so I really like the, the Flash client seems a little bit better for me, uh, and the server I am on is Federa. It's on the bottom right slash left. I'm not sure which side for your guys' screen, but it is written there on the screen for you guys to check out. Um, so I am on Federa with Vo my buddy Voidvox. Um, we stream all kinds of stuff. Tibia, League of Legends, Borderlands 2, whatever I feel like playing on the given day. Um, so... You have friends there, or play alone? I have friends. Voidvox is, if you see in my VIP list up here, uh, Voidvox is online with me. He's actually the one that got me into the game. He's level 118, so 19. Um, so we're trying to get me caught up as fast as possible. So that's why I have such nice gear, and why I have potions and 111,000 gold in the bank, and I'm a lot higher up than what you would normally be, uh, or your normal experience would be just starting out in the game. But I love playing with my viewers, so any of my viewers join my server. Um, like I said, I will gladly play with viewers. And if you send me a message through Twitch and you're a follower of the show, and you start on this server, there could be something special for you. 
Why do you use on, only use Spike Sword? Uh, Spike Sword is really strong for this level. And I did have a flaming spike sword for a while, but uh, the charges run out super fast. And so I uh, ceased with the flaming. I'm playing in Aurora and Alicia. Fair enough, fair enough. That's fine. You can join the stream and watch anyway. I'm, I am not biased to server. There is not a, there's no requirement to be on my server to check out the show. I should join Lacera. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just leveled a guy to 24. Uh, Aurora. 390 EK plus 244 RP. 344 RP. Nice. Uh, that's awesome. I am... Um, yeah, Void took a break from the game. He was one of the top level people for a while, a long time ago. And then he quit playing for a while. Uh, mainly because all his buddies quit playing. Then him and I were hanging out. And he was like, hey, we should play this together. And I was like, alright, cool. <laughs> it's a good downtime game. It's fun when I need a break from, like, grinding League of Legends or any of the other things. Uh, so. Get back here. Um, but anyway, even if you don't join the server, you should definitely register for the website and follow us on Twitch. Starting, uh, yeah, lol is stressful. Starting next, uh... Probably next broadcast, not this week, but next week sometime, once I get a little more bankroll into my pocket. I'm kind of between paydays, but we'll be doing giveaways and cool things like that to viewers. So um, I'm going to be actually putting a giveaway schedule up on the uh, website for you guys to be able to check out what giveaways happen during what broadcasts and all that cool stuff. So give you guys some awesome stuff just for popping in and checking out the show. To eight viewers now, great, awesome, I love it. I'm not talking to myself. Makes my job that much more fun. So, welcome to the show, guys. Ch chat's blowing up, I love it. You guys are making this totally worthwhile. Alright, so, not just running around a cave bored out of my mind. I got people to chat with. Yeah. So, yeah, 390 and 344. Man, dude, you had a lot of time on your hands. Um, did you bot to get up there? No, and I have no judgment if you did. I don't care. Just wondering. Uh, Tutam in Columbia. Whoa, col viewer from Columbia. Snapfast, thanks for joining the show. Thanks for being talkative. Uh, appreciate you joining. Definitely check us out, freekills.com. Follow us on Twitter, etc., etc. And, uh, like the sh follow us on, uh, Twitch. Thanks for joining the show, man. Get some, uh, sleep. That's awfully early. Couple more hours for me. Eric Jackson, hey man, how are you? You say hey man, I'll say hey man back. All right. Uh, cool. Nick Miller following, following on Twitter. I like Twitter followers. I will do giveaways through Twitter too. Pretty much any social media you follow me on, you could win something at some point. Um, I fully am embracing the streaming project in this streamer lifestyle and working on all kinds of cool ways to reward my viewers, because without you guys, there's no reason to have a show. So I fully believe you guys deserve only the best, and that's the way it rolls. So, like I said, normally I would put music in the background when I'm playing Tibia because there is no sound to the game. Uh, but the problem with that is if I do that, I can't actually monetize them on my YouTube channel without fighting a whole bunch of red tape. So what weapon type do you recommend most on knights? Uh, sword or axe, from what I understand? Pretty much everyone's told me mace is crap. I like sword. Um, it seems like at most your levels, there's always a good sword option. I use clubs. Oh, Yeah, from what I've heard, clubs are really bad. From what I've heard. I'm sure that could be just bias of people. How do I join giveaway on Twitter? Um, just follow on Twitter. 
when I do a tweet, I might do a tweet that says, you know, the next person to contact me via this, or next person to, you know, if you retweet this post, everyone who retweets it will be entered for a drawing, things like that. So just follow on Twitter, and uh, just by being a person on Twitter, um, contests will pop up here and there. So, that's all you need to do. And then if there is a contest, there will be instructions given out during said contest. Got it. Following. Awesome. Fantastico. Welcome to my Twitter. Hey, man, I love contests, too. Once we get really high-leveled, we might be doing the... Uh, we might do something crazy. We've, Void and I have been talking about the potentiality of the monthly million contest. The hard part of that is you'd have to be on our server. That's the only way we could the only way we could give that out. But so that would be the only drawback to not being on our server. But we will do contests. A lot of things I plan on doing is premium scrolls for Tibia, because you can give those to anybody. And so I plan on doing those. I also have some other cool server ideas. Like certain mobs will drop letters. So if I do fight a mob and it drops a letter, I will probably fill out the letter with a code, and if you f and then throw it on the ground. And if someone picks up the letter and finds the code and enters it at my website, they could win something. I like doing fun, crazy stuff. I'm I run a game store for my day job, and uh, we do a lot of contests through there. And I find people like contests and like challenges. So uh, if I can kind of roll that over into this universe, I definitely will. Uh, as far as the streaming world's concerned. Uh, because people seem to enjoy incentives. So, we will gladly give them out. Nine people in the stream, welcome welcome to the stream. Getting good numbers tonight, I like it. Probably one of the few people in the world streaming Tibia. Uh, yep, we're still at nine, alright, cool. Looks like we dropped down for a minute. Oh, yes, Ring of Life. Oh, I love these things. Okay, I'm... Freaking unkill! I don't even need it down here. I'm not even gonna waste the time equipping it. I don't want to waste it. Yeah, I don't even need a ring of life down here. But man, I just got another ring of life. Those things are awesome. If you've never gotten a ring of life, holy crap, they are cool. They only last six minutes, which sort of sucks. Twenty minutes? Twenty minutes? My bad. That's soft boots. They're like six minutes or something. Anyway, shut up! Quit making me sound dumber than I am. Lucky loot. Yep, totally. I'm taking it, man. That's the second Ring of Life drop I've gotten. Um, not this run, but in total, killing ghouls. So, I will hoard those things till the cows come home, man. Those things are so amazing. Um, against harder level stuff, man. That, that Basically, a Ring of Life says don't die for 20 minutes. Especially with Xura Ico on a knight, your mana regen goes through the roof. You're just like almost spamming it. It basically makes Xura Ico have like a two minute cooldown. Not even two minutes, like a minute. It's like absurd. Such a good thing. I keep telling t uh, Void he needs to get me soft boots so I can just be insane. Like soft boot, ring of life, spam Xura Ico, never die against anything. If it can't kill you in one hit, you're fine. Uh, what do you think of starting hunting in Cyclo? Cyclopolis or Cyclo yeah, that one. Cyclopsis or Edrin. Uh what do you think when do I think I'll start hum hunting there? Uh I don't know. Void, when do you think we're gonna move over to Cyclopsis or Edrin? Right. <laughs> void frowny face. Why are we getting the void frowny face? Probably because you're talking and they can't hear you. That's why they're saying void frowny face, I'm assuming. <laughs> I'll get him on Skype soon, guys. We'll get him a headset. Yeah, no, you guys can't hear void. Um, he's he live, He's right there. He literally lives in the house. So I'm constantly asking him questions. And so if you hear me ask a question of void... Uh, you're not going to hear the answer, but we'll get him on Skype soon. That way we don't have that problem. So, because you guys deserve to hear what he's saying. Like, he's he's sort of my benefactor and uh, my main, my, 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 
I can't even think of the word. He is the man who makes me the man. That's what's going on. Give a donate... Some, what? Someone just whispered... How do I see... Give a donate soon. 400k, okay? Uh, Adam Voas is asking me... I don't know if he's asking me for 400,000? Uh, 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 is that what's after his name there? Uh, one. So, yeah. I think this dude just whispered me asking if I would give him 400,000. Um... That's one way. I give you. Uh, are you in? Ch is this someone in my channel? <laughs> slash. Can I just type slash R for reply? That'll work. Uh. <laughs> put it in my mailbox. <laughs> I ain't gonna trade it, but you wanna mail my, you wanna mail me four hundred thousand? I ain't not gonna complain. If that actually happens. That'd be awesome. Okay. I started to run from the Bone Lord again. I was like, oh, it's a Bone Lord, but I'm like, wait, I can kill that. Right. I'm like, wait, it's a Bone Lord. I can kill those now. It's a Beholder. No. <laughs> I just whispered the guy back. I'm like, put it in my mailbox. <laughs> He wants to, yeah. If he wants to donate me four hundred thousand, I am not gonna complain. So anyway, the answer to the uh, Cyclopsis Edrin question uh, is uh, depending on what we want to hunt. If uh, sure, thanks. Um, awesome. I might have four hundred thousand uh, in my bank. So that's pretty cool for a level one guy. I don't know if he's maybe trying to build up his farming business, and because he donated, he was awesome. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so back to the Cyclops' Edron question. Uh, if we're going to hunt heroes, I can probably tank. Uh, we'll give later need to take level 8. Um, okay. Some dude's messaging me in the game about giving me money. <laughs> I don't know if he actually will, but he might. Cool. Uh, I'm actually streaming. I'm going to tell them I'm streaming live on twitch.tv slash free kills. Feel free to check it out. Okay. So, uh, depending on what we want to hunt up in the Edrin Cyclopsis area depends on when we will go. Um, I can probably take heroes at a lower level, but behemoths I'll need to be, void say, I'm probably around 75-ish. Uh, before we can go take on those. So, depending on uh, what we're doing. And I would be named Free Kills in this game, if you guys can see my character's name is Qui-Gon Zeus. Uh, free Kills is pretty much my handle in everything. If you see a Free Kills spelt the way I spell it in a game, it is probably me. But the naming uh, Nazi system on this game... Um, yeah, the Nazi naming system on this game... Uh, would not let me put anything with the word freak in it. Um, apparently that trips the you're not allowed to name your character that um, protocol. So I was not able to get freak anything. And so therefore I became my second favorite ca character name, Qui-Gon Zeus, as a homage to the uncomparable and amazing Liam Neeson's. All right. Stream got all quiet on me. You guys will stop talking. I guess I'll just talk to myself again. <laughs> it's okay. It's acceptable. Not many questions to ask when it comes to tibia. Just watching a guy walk around and spawn and kill things. One shot. Pff, oof. Dead gobble. Dead skill tone. Um. So... All right, so seven people watching, only two actually registered and talking. Kind of weird. All right. If I join, do you think you or Voika hit me up with some stuff? Uh, like I've told everybody, if you join my server 
and send me a message through Twitch that you've joined the server and your character name, there is a very high likelihood that you could get something very cool. So that's a long way of saying probably yes. Yeah, we'll get you. We'll get you some some stuffs. Probably get you the the newbie golden backpack of awesomeness. That's what I'm gonna call it. The new character, cool. All for sure. Join tonight. Sweet. Look at that. We're even recruiting people. Uh, when it gets level what? Okay, Void says uh, when he reached level 8, send him a in-game message. His character name is Void Vox. Just typed it in the chat for you. Um, so once you hit level 8, he will get you hooked up. with Because level 8 is basically getting off Newbie Island. Cheese! I was way too excited about that. <laughs> Irma Gerd cheese again! I should, like, totally make a uh, a highlight labeled back-to-back -back cheese drops. <laughs> and just be getting all excited. Cheese! Irma Gerd, it's cheese! Right? Swiss cheese. Cheddar cheese. There's Gouda. Famunda. Limburger. Uh, what vocation do you think I should make? Um, depends. Knights are resilient, but uh, without good gear are tough to level on their own. Paladins and uh, mages are really kitey and can take on stronger things if they're really tricky and you're just like good at kind of kiting and, and higher level mechanics. Um, and then Druids? I don't know. Druids are healers, so you'll be able to self-heal through some stuff. Um, really just is your play style. Like, I built a knight to go with Void because Void needed a blocker. Like, he needed someone who can take aggro and just get pummeled. And so I was like, well, I'll build a knight then. Because that's what needs to happen. And uh, he was already, you know, a caster. Uh, but paladins are fun from what I've been told. Uh... And so are the casters, but they're just a little trickier to play. You have to have some, some decent fundamental mechanics. If you played, I mean, I don't know your game history, uh, but if you've played games quite a bit, uh, how do I go to settings in the Flash Client? Okay, that confused the crap out of me, too, for a very long time. I will show you as soon as I'm done killing these couple little vermin. Um, all right, so the Flash Client, this settings general menu... If you come up here, there's a button right here that's got three lines on it and three bars. If you click it, you'll get your general options thing to pop up. And if you hit options, you can like turn on classic style targeting and you can do all that. So that took me about 10 million years of research to find. Um, if you don't have the little things up here, this is why it took me forever to find. Because when I logged into the Flash Client, it looked like this. And I was like, what the crap? I'm Google searching. I'm like, I don't have these options. They don't exist. And then I found that you click right here, and you click right here, and you get these two little dropout menus that make it so much easier. And, uh, yeah, that drove me half insane for about an hour. I was actually on uh, at work with Void on chat and literally going like, what the crap? And he's like, I don't know, man. I don't use the Flash Client. And I'm like, you're no help. And... I was, like, Google searching. I'm like, how do you do this? And it was uh, <laughs> telling me, it's simple. You just click this general options tab. I'm like, I don't have a general options tab. So now you know the easy way without the uh, tearing your hair out. I mean, and, and granted, tearing my hair out's not good. I'm starting to lose it. You know, I'm 30 years old. So <laughs> I've got a kid. Uh, how long have you... Uh, Void and I have been playing for? Myself, I have been playing for about two weeks. Void has been playing for on and off about eight years. He played very heavily for a very long time. Uh, at one point being, you know, 100 and something, he was one of the highest level characters on the server. Um, that's how long ago he played. Now there's people in the, like, 300 pluses. 
on this particular server. Uh, so there was a time being where he's at was huge, but now like he took a huge break because all the friends he played with quit. And then him and I were talking, and we're like, you know, we need a good downtime game, something that's going to be when we need a break from from doing League of Legends. Like him and I are both grinding for 30 in League of Legends and working on putting a ranked team together and and getting really competitive in the league scene. So we're like, we need something for the downtime, something when we're just like, don't feel like streaming League, don't feel like playing League right now, we've been grinding out levels and stuff. So he's like, well, what about Tibia? It's really cool, you'll probably like it. I was like, alright, sure, I'll try it, it's free, why not? And uh, lo and behold, uh, I did like it. So, And I figured, well, I pretty much stream every game I play, so might as well stream this one too! <laughs> and I've actually gotten a lot of good response from this one, like, really good viewers. Uh, you guys are fun, talk to me, energetic seem to enjoy the game. I enjoy the game, so it's kind of cool. I've had actually extremely positive experiences with Tibby all the way around, so very happy with uh, the game. So I am about a long answer. I'm long-winded. I like to talk. You can't be a streamer if you don't like to talk. It's just general rule. Yeah, Crypt Shambler. The only thing that can actually kind of deal me damage. Kill this rat first. Splunk. Kill this rat first. Curse Splunk. Okay. Now I'll loot while I'm beating it. Ow, he hit me. Ow, he hit me twice. Exer Ico! Yeah, that's right. Oh, I turned off my attack on him. That was stupid. Exer Ico again! You cannot kill me! So, yeah. About week for me, eight years for Void. So that is the short answer to what my long-winded answer was. Man, this shambler's actually putting a number on me. I might have to actually use a potion. I mean, I brought him for a reason, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. Ow! He just kerthunked me. It's okay. Yeah, he did. That's all right. He's dead now. He's in the red. Loot this rat while I'm beating this dude's face. So, the cool tricks you can do in this game. Uh, it is old school, so they don't check like your combat status while you're looting. So you can actually loot while beating things face. Uh, it's old school, so it doesn't check your combat status while you are... Ooh, a small diamond. That was worth the beatdowns. Uh, they don't check your combat status for changing gear. Like, at one point, I found got a shield drop from a mob that was better than the one I had equipped. So I equipped a new shield while still fighting. You can do this in this game. Unlike modern MMOs where they're like, you're in combat, you can't change your gear, that doesn't make sense. This game's like, we don't care, it doesn't make sense, change your gear, that's cool. It's magic. You just, poof, switch stuff. So, very cool, very cool. Or, no, I'm almost 25. I'm a... Nice! New sword at 25. I want to hit 25 even more now. Get over here. A cookie? Wait, what? Dude, the rat gave me a cookie. <laughs> Dude, if you give a mouse a cookie, uh, just made a guy named Sup Sork. Cool. I'm going to add you to my VIP list. Um, how do I add a VIP again? Okay, VIPs. Uh, add new VIP. SU. P space S O R C Subsork. All right, you are on my list. You can see on stream right there. Boom! There's your name. There's you. I'm a man of my word. Say look. You are now part of my VIP list. All right, getting the beats down. Look at that, dude. We got a new homie. Yeah, right? Void says, sweet. Void said, send him a message. He will... Sweet. Sorry to ask again. What's your name? Uh, I will type it in chat for you so you have it. Because um, mine's funky. Mine is certainly a funky name. I'm currently, as you can see, in the middle of beating up a bunch of stuff. As soon as I kill this m plethora of crap, I will... Uh, Type you a uh, name, Aruski. Die, die, you horrible, horrible 
zombies. They're not zombies, they're ghouls. Okay, fine. Be, be predictable. Okay, mine is Q-U-I-G-O-N-Z-E-U-S. That's me. And Void Vox. So, Qui-Gon Zeus is me. Void Vox is Void. Uh, if you send him a whisper, he will uh, add you to his VIP list as well. It's probably easier for me to send him a message with your name. His name is... That. Sup sort. Yep. All right. Xero Ico. Die, Speed Ray. All right. Smiley face. Alright, I just got a smiley from Subsort. Scurb! I'm not scurbed. Oh, two scurbs. Oh, that's kind of fun. These guys, in teams, these can actually deal me some damage. Lone scurbs, not so scary. Dual scurbs, a little bit of a problem. Oop, scorpion. Don't want to get armor broke. Let's not get armor broke. Okay, no guard break. Yay, oh, pot time. See, and that's why I hate scarabs, because once they turn red, they run. <laughs> and they have to chase them forever. They don't pose any kind of significant threat, other than the fact of being annoying. <laughs> so, uh, Nick will let you know, the trickiest thing about this game is uh, don't overcommit yourself to a mob. Um... If it hits you for a significant amount of damage, and you don't have potions or ways of getting healed quickly, just run. Just get away from it. Don't worry about it. Just run away. Um, it's better to run away than fight something that will kill you, because death in this game has a severe penalty. Uh, you lose experience. You will lose training in your skills. Uh, you will drop gear. So, you know, we hook you up with some nice gear. You can actually lose it by dying. So you want to make sure that uh, you, if something is pummeling you, just get the heck away from it. Don't try to fight it. Don't try to take on things that you can't take on. It's not worth it in the end. I learned that the hard way. And then you have to run back to your body and try to loot your corpse before someone else loots it or it decays. So, not cool, no matter how you slice it. All right. Run through all these poison clouds. That's the other thing that's annoying about scares. They drop all those stupid poison clouds. Again, don't really hurt, but are annoying. See, rats, rats can't hurt you very much unless they surround break you, and then you're like, oh god, I am surrounded by rats. And then you can't defend anymore, and that's never good. Another cookie. Man, rats like me. Is a cookie just a food item, or is it actually just a, a mob drop? That's a food item. Darn it. I thought it was going to be something cool, though. Because, like, it, se it seemed rare. <laughs> Most of the time they drop cheese. I do like the uh, homage to if you give a mouse a cookie, though. That's that's pretty cool. I am full. I'm going to carry this cookie around. Because he gave me a cookie. I'm going to have to get a cookie out of this backpack. That cookie can go there. Cookie on the ground. Yes, and if you weren't here earlier for the backpackception conversation, you can put bags within bags. Within bags. <laughs> within bags. As long as you can carry the weight, you can effectively get infinite infinite carrying capacity. It's pretty sweet. Bagception. I'm going to have to use another pot. Darn it. I've used six since I've been down here. That's terrible. <laughs> I know, right? That's all. Yeah. Quit complaining. At least you have pots to use. Alright. Die, fool. Die. Alright, die. Come on. Oh, cool. Yeah, sorcerers are tricky. Leveling them is fun, though. Uh, mobs don't reset health in this game. That's one tactic I can tell you for a sorcerer. So, if you can nuke it for damage, run away, 
let it reset back to its starting point, go back up to it, nuke it for more damage, repeat process, its life won't reset between nukes. So you can kind of... Certain creatures do, some creatures do not. Woot, 25. All right, 25, 25 now. We are getting closer to the edge. One step closer to where we want to be, which is a lot higher than we are now. That's where we want to be. Uh, no level cap in this game. This is like old school as old school gets. You just can level for days. Apparently there is a dungeon for a level 999 that no one has leveled to yet. Even with the best of bots, no one has gotten there. It's just like that's how absurd this game is. Obscene amount of years later and still not even close. How's my money bag looking? Yeah. Loaded. Like it. Cash Ola. Um. Hmm. <laughs> That's funny. Worms off a hyena. Boop -do -boop -do 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 -do. Go check down here. See, so this spawn's huge, so what's cool about this spawn is you can one-shot everything really quickly. But, uh, the great thing is, things it's so big that by the time you explore one side of it, the other side is already respawned. So while you're killing things really fast, you're still gaining a very significant amount of experience because you're able to just... You can't f walk fast enough. Even with... I've got Boots of Haste, which normally people at my level don't even dream of having. Um, you can't walk fast enough to outrace the spawn. So, by the time you get... Wow, and unless you're void and move like a ghost, what the heck? What are you doing? How did you move like that? That was crazy looking. Yeah, what spell is that? Woo! 32! Sweet! A wyvern fang. Should we, dro should we drop the spike sword? Blink! Here you go. Sell that. Equipsies. <laughs> yeah! Now I get to kill even faster. I'm tw Yeah! I told you. I said ding 25. Where were you? You were not paying attention. That's where. Some cheese. I like cheese. Cheese is tight, day. <laughs> I'm hitting so hard now. That sword's insane. Should make life even easier. Be like, Bone Lord. Bone Lord, more like Dead Lord, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know it's cheesy. Make fun of me all you want. Stream, feel free to call me stupid. It's acceptable. I'm gonna go ham on this place now. Now I got a Wyvern Fang Sword. Stats on that. Look, okay, read the stats. 32 attack, 19 plus 1 defense. Absurd. Only wieldable by 25 or higher. Well, properly wieldable. This, boom! Just went ham on a ghoul. That ham. <laughs> Just squishing things. That's so awesome. It's going to make the spawn even faster now. Goosh. Look at that. 58 points. Goodoosh. Oh, weak hit. Goodoosh. Good night. Quarter of a hundy. Nice. Likey. When, since when do poison spiders run? I guess normally I kill them in one hit. Stupid spider. Get over here. Gotcha. Alright. So I think tonight we might have broken 1,200 total viewers. That's awesome. We'll see how my followers shape out after I refresh the page. Because it doesn't update in real time, unfortunately. Bam! 29 gold. Man, these ghouls are just making me rich. Thanks for the awesome sword, bro. Things absurd. Just going ham on this spawn now. Crash! Look at that. That's one hit. He's got like nothing left. That ghoul is just like, oh my face. If a ghoul could say, oh my face, that's what he would have said. Actually, probably just came out more like, nah. Can I eat a cookie? Yeah, I just ate a cookie. What monies? Monies. Bam. Look, time flies when you're playing this game. It's one o'clock already. Like, 
Started streaming at 11.30. It's all... Oh, yeah, Servant Save is going to start in 10 minutes, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hop up to the entrance so we can get somewhere safe because um, you don't want to log off in a spawn. Uh, server shuts down for like 10 minutes at 1 o'clock, so we'll take a quick break when the server shutdown happens, um, but then we will be back. So we're not going to actually quit playing. Um, I got quite a few. I got probably about from 1 to 2 in me after the break, so uh, I may. I'll probably just. Stop the well. Won't stop the broadcast. I'll just put it on up on my. Uh, we are on a break screen for the server downtime. Uh, let me refill my water, use the restroom, and that sort of thing. And we will get back to the show as soon as they uh, bring the server back up. So from about 1 a.m. to 1:10 uh, a.m. my time. So in about 10 minutes from now, we'll have to take a 10-minute break. It's a forced break. It sucks. I don't want to have to take it. But unfortunately, every every day they save the game. I mean, it's probably smart of the developers to do that that way. Like, you don't lose your stuff, and you don't get screwed. But it means people like me have to take breaks from games, and I don't like taking breaks. That sounded really whiny. That was pathetic. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. Bone Lord, come on, be there, be there. Yeah, you were going down, dude. I got a new sword. I'm just going to go ham on you. You have no idea what bad stuff is about to happen to you. Oh, look at that ham. Yeah, just hammed, dude. Oh, again. Oh, I think I just three-shot that guy. That felt awesome. That felt, like, amazing on a stick. Like, just bro-hammed that guy. I used to run from those at one point in the game. Now I'm just like, curse, splat, death. Right. I have to go see the dude about changing my look. Now that I got a premium account, I get more visual options. So I'm not just a normal dude. I'm a dude with cooler look. Dagul. Twelve coins and a worm. Grats. Let's see if I can eat this cookie. Oh, just now I'm the cookie. Yeah. Gotta love them cookies. Skeleton. Done. Man, this sword is absurd, dude. <laughs> I am just waxing things like a mofo. Oh, my necklace ran out of charges. Yeah. That's alright, I got another one. It's in my depository, but I have another one. Boom. Dead. Oh, I didn't one-shot that guy. That was a boom, almost dead. Boom. Dead. Boom. Totally dead. Boom. Slash. Face. Yeah, I'm leveling so fast. According to this, if I keep my current leveling pace, I will level in 34 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. I don't think we'll hit 30 tonight. I uh, don't think it's physically possible unless we stay on till like 3 a.m. Let's see. Well, 34 minutes from now. Let's call it 30. Or well, we're actually going to call it 40. Because the server reset, so probably about 140, I'd hit that level. So I'd be 26. So I'd need to gain four more levels, figure in hours of half a average amount, half hour. Two th if we stayed on till 3:30 in the morning, I could probably hit 30 tonight. But uh, I do got to work tomorrow. <laughs> And tomorrow I have to sort comics. That's not a fun day, ever. Bam. Oh, I just weak hit that dude. Oh, there we go. That's that's Broham. All right, man. Red cloth. I got tons of red cloth. It's gonna be so great when I sell it. Well, not red cloth. It's it's rotted red cloth. If it was actual red cloth, holy crap, that's worth a grip. A massive grip. All right. All right. All right. All right, William Wolf and Trolls Troll Trollzitos. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Trollzitos just joined. Gobbish Toxic, you guys still in the name? Nick Miller still hanging around. Welcome to the stream, guys. Thanks for joining, guys or gals. I don't know your genders. 
names are gendered on by. So as you see, ser server is saving game in five minutes. Come back in ten minutes. So in five minutes, we are going to be forced to take a ten minute break. Unfortunately, the jerks that command the servers say so. Should we uh, head back to town now? I'm right here at the. F I'm at the entrance. All right, so we're going to make our way back to town. We're going to leave the spawn. Do I have to rope up out of here? Boink. All right. Oh, I don't have my rope. <laughs> Magic rope me the heck out of here. <sighs> okay, well, actual rope me the heck out of here. I don't care. He didn't tell me we were going to need rope. It's in my depository. You're like, put your... Put, like, your shovel in your depository and blah, blah, blah in your... You told me to put that stuff in my depository when we were doing the town spawn. Well, that is the town spawn. You didn't tell me to go back and grab it when we were done. I'm not bitching. I'm just saying. I don't got a rope. So you're going to have to come rope me out of the hole. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You don't even own a rope? Oh, you are useless. Why can't you magic rope me out of the hole? Makes no sense. Yeah, well, you don't have to leave the channel. Um, who is behind you? Him playing TV. Yeah, that right there behind me is Voidvox. He's in the game with me. He's the one I'm yelling at, telling me to go get a rope to get me out of this dungeon. Because I'm stuck, because somebody, namely him, didn't tell me to bring a rope. <laughs> so he is Voidvox. He is in the game with me. He is that gentleman right there. Um, and he forgot to tell me to bring my rope. So I am ropeless and stuck on a screen. So you guys get to watch me wait. <laughs> Server is down at three minutes, man. I could probably, I, I could probably log out right here and be safe. Well, then why don't we just log out right here? Oh, okay, fine. He's got stuff for me in town. Uh, but Nick, you don't need to actually leave the uh, Twitch channel. My channel will be live during the downtime. I'm on the sand spot. Hey, I got roped. I'm going to kill this honor guard. Watch this one shot. Oh, two shots. Dang it. This is free experience right here real fast, so I'm just going to bap and blap. Now I'm going to follow you. Hold on. Slow down, Turbo. If you keep moving, I can't click on you. All right, follow. All right, so uh, you guys don't need to leave the channel. If you don't want to, you can and come back. Uh, my channel will be up the whole time. It will just be on a break screen where I'll have some cool techno music playing while I'm away from the keyboard and while we're not playing. So there'll be a... Normally I do like two-minute breaks, but since the server forces us to take a ten-minute downtime, we will have the ten-minute break screen up. Um, so I'll be AFK getting stuff. You don't have to leave Twitch chat. You don't have to do any of that. If you want to stay with the show, you can just chill and uh, take a ten-minute break for yourselves as well. And then I will return. Do 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 do. Move my mouse off the screen so it doesn't have that weird cursor reticle. This is the cool thing. See, I'm just hands free right now. I get to kick back and let Void do the work. He's the redhead. You gotta have him do something. Gingers are useful somehow. They do steal souls. That is true. Yeah, sure. Punked. Punked. And, uh, man, forced me through, you weird. Punked and punked. Three coins. Thanks. I'll take those. All right, hold on. Slow up. Will you quit moving so fast? Oh, we're at town. Okay, fine. You didn't say we're right outside the door. Man, your information is lackluster tonight. I should know that. You've been playing for almost two weeks. You should know what you're doing. Uh huh. Yeah, right. In a game as complex as Tibia, yeah, I sh I'm, I'm, I'm an expert in two weeks. If I was an expert in two weeks in this game, I'd outlevel you. Technically, I am leveling faster than you, but I'm a lower level. So shh, we'll keep that to ourselves. Exrico. Some free magic experience right there. What are we doing? Why am I coming upstairs with you? You got something for me. Is it sexy? All right. Do I need to put this in my bag? Uh, how do I trade with you? 
Control. Uh, did we just get booted? Yep, we're getting booted. Alright, so we're going to have to go ahead and take a break, guys. We're getting booted off the server. Server's kicking us the crap out. So, stay tuned. We will be back in about ten minutes. Uh, so, enjoy the music while we uh, take a quick break. <laughs> 